Percy Dove Tonsils. On this date in 1663, King Charles of England granted a charter to Rhode Island. I had no idea he was that old. On this date in 1776, Colonel John Nixon gave the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence at Independence Square in Philadelphia. They were trying to decide who would do it, and someone said, Nixon's the one. That's back when the Nixon name was an honorable one. Critics called it, revolutionary. The reviews were good, I laughed, I cried. It was better than Hamilton. In 1796, the first United States passport was issued. It took a while, but once they figured out how to take a lousy picture, the rest just fell into place. Since driver's licenses weren't around yet, it was the only place you could get a really bad picture of yourself. It was on this date in 1853, an expedition led by Commodore Matthew Perry arrives in Yeddo Bay, Japan, on a diplomatic and trade mission. Yeah, they sent the big brass for this one. Commodore Matthew Perry, Admiral David Schwimmer and Ensign Matt LeBlanc. On this day in 1877, a year after our country declared its independence, Vermont became the first state to abolish slavery. 88 years before it became illegal in the United States. In 1889, the very first issue of the Wall Street Journal was published. Back then, it was the paper delivered by newspaper boys wearing suits. On this date in 1889, John L. Sullivan won by a knockout in the last bare-knuckle boxing match. Who knew, a century later, we'd go back to that and call it ultimate fighting. In 1911, Nan Jane Aspinwall became the first woman to cross the United States. On horseback. Oh, sure. And no one remembers the horse's name. He did all the work. The journey began with those two famous words, giddy up. Of course, to hear the horse tell it, he was the first horse to cross the United States with a woman on his back. It would be years before anyone did it on horse belly. On this date in 1975, President Gerald Ford announced he would seek the Republican nomination for the presidency in 1976. Within minutes, he tripped. It was on this date in 1977, Sabra Starr set the record for the longest recorded belly dance at 100 hours. I could see going for the world's longest belly. But belly dance? Well, that was the longest one by anyone not standing on a dashboard. She would have gone longer, but fell from the weight of all the $1 bills tucked into her outfit. In 1983, the Atant breakup plan was approved. Needless to say, it was much simpler than the Amazon and Jeff Bezos breakup plan. On this date in 1994, the movie Forrest Gump hit theaters. We learned that life, just like my love handles, was nothing more than a box of chocolates. Today is National Raspberry Day, National Freezer Pop Day, and National Chocolate with Almond Day. Wow, Jaden Smith is already up to age 26. Beck turns 54 today. I'm not sure I'd want to be famous for a song called, Loser. Hoping someone gives him a last name. Or, maybe a first. Singer Joan Osborne turns 62 today. She's the one who sang, What If God Was, One Of Us. Apparently, he isn't. She's not even remotely related to Ozzy Osbourne. Kevin Bacon celebrates birthday number 66. His foot is still loose, but his back is tight and his neck achy. Foot loose. Knees weak. Back sore. Yeah, this aging thing is taking its toll. And, Bacon is quite the bad guy in the new Eddie Murphy flick, Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. Angelica Houston is 73 today. She was a pretty good Morticia. And finally, in Florida, a woman is facing a domestic battery charge after she threw her Apple Watch at her boyfriend and hit him in the head. In her defense, that's how Newton discovered gravity. With exciting facts to clutter your mind, I'm Percy Dove Tonsils, for KDAZ, Digital Broadcasting. And thanks for listening. <laughs>